Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio, and today I have something completely different than anything I've brought to you before. So today we're gonna to discuss this really easy software that allows you to turn simple images into your own paint by numbers that you can print. So I know that everybody is kind of struggling with this delay from shipping overseas with the pandemic and all, so I thought this is a wonderful alternative to that wait. So while you're waiting, you can make your own and kind of play around. So I want to do a shout out to Sheila Morton from my group on Facebook because she's the one that reminded me about this software. Now she took this, what I'm going to show you today and like took it up 50 notches and um, put it into Photoshop and did all kinds of stuff. So, but what we're going to do today is just kind of keep it really simple and we're going to use a simple image and I'm going to show you how to use this easy peasy software that is online. So this is a free software, but I want you to notice down here where it says donate. You guys, some of you might consider maybe giving a dollar or two. This guy has created this software and he's put it on here for free, but I thought it was pretty cool that we could just go in and kind of give him a little, you know, little monetary thanks. The instructions are super easy. So first we're gonna load an image. So this is the image I decided to use. And it's just a watercolor flamingo. The resolution's not great but it's still gonna work just fine for what we're gonna be doing today. Next, what we're gonna do, it says number two, click some points on the image to select your palette. So what I want to do is go into my image and I wanna select every color I see. So I know there's a background and then I see a color here and there's this little dot over here that we could use or not use. Um, there is another variation of this pink. So I'm just gonna go in here and click a bunch of, of these colors. So once I've clicked all my points, it's already given me 24 colors up here. Now you can see some of these are really similar. If they are the same color, I can go ahead and remove them from my palette and click on others maybe to fill it. But you see this one and this one are like the same color. So I can do that and I'll go ahead and do that now. You know, if they are a tint difference, like these two are slightly different, I'm leaving them both. This one and this one, this one looks a little darker than that one, so I'm leaving those both. So just you know, keep that in mind. Now I'm clicking as many points as I can without, like I said, overwhelming my palette. Um, I'm usually gonna use about 24 if I can. Make sure I get its legs, you know, make sure that there's nothing gonna be left out. And these colors might be already up here. And let's go with this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the PBNFI button. Now once I've clicked that button, it's going to spin and it's going to render us quite a few images. It's gonna be four days later but it, you know, it does take a hot minute, but it's doing a lot of processes here. So once it has done that, I'm gonna to click to one I've already done. It's gonna give you these options here. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna look and say, okay, this is what our painting will look like once it is complete. So it looks pretty, pretty good. Now I have this little gap here, but that's how the actual original image was. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna do anything. But if I thought, okay, well, the eye's missing or whatever, I can go up here and click recolor and add some more color options to my piece and then regenerate it. But instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to here. This is the filled version. So I'm gonna save that and it's gonna open it up in another window here. And that's gonna show me my final project once I've painted it. Then I'm gonna go outline, save. It's gonna do the same thing. So it's gonna open me another tab and it's actually showing me my outline with my numbers. So this is my paint by number guide. And then I can say save palette. It's gonna open this up in a new tab, which is gonna allow me to print my palette. So what I've done is I've actually gone and I've saved these onto my computer as a PDF just by going to File, um, Export as PDF. I've named it and I've put it on my, on my um, computer. And let me show you here too before I get to that part. 
This right here says show color info. It actually gives you the recipe for each color. So if you wanna kind of take this into more advanced color blending, you can use this guide. I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna use this and just visually match what colors that I you know, want. Um, but you can definitely do it this way if you'd like. It gives you all the different options of um, how to mix those and blend those colors. So now that we've got this done, I'm, I have saved them onto my computer and I just put a little My PBN folder up here. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print my new outline of my flamingo. Let's see if we can zoom this out a little bit. And I'm gonna put it on this canvas paper that I got from Amazon. So what I did is I printed out each section, so I've got my, this is what my painting should look like when it's complete. It's just a smaller version of it. Then I have my color palette that I just printed on regular paper. Now I did print this at a normal setting on my printer so that it, the colors were pretty accurate, but really ideally, maybe going up even to the photo option or whatever would give you the best palette. I may even use the one on the computer screen as my guide instead of the printout because things can be, you know, translated differently. Um, but anyway, so there's my color palette. And then here is this actually printed on canvas. You can see this canvas texture with my numbers. And it printed through my little cheap HP printer without a problem at all. You can even see the back of this paper is canvas. So now all I have to do is mix my own paints or I might actually just pull paints from old, um, paint by numbers that I've had, that I have this palette with, and I will paint this piece. Now this canvas paper that I'm talking about here, it says it's pre-gessoed, it's pre-primed, but because it is a white gesso type of prime, I may could you know go over it with my clear and just treat it as if it is a regular paint by number. But I thought this might fill your time while you're waiting for your paint by numbers to come. And I thought it was just a neat tool, and especially since it's free. Now let me show you the actual canvas pack that I bought of the canvas paper. And this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna link you to this actual paper in um, the description below so that you can go find this. I think this is a really good quality, even though it wasn't expensive. I cannot remember how much it cost, but it is a standard eight and a half by 11. So it works through all printers as far as that size. You don't have to have a, a special large format printer. Okay, you guys, I have not worked on this little piece. I've got so many I've got in progress, but I thought what a fantastic little side thing to do. Even if you just did it for your kids, um, you know, that would be an option too. You can like give them a little paint by number. It's not quite as overwhelming. Give them a palette and, and let them just go paint. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this will give you something to do with your free time while you wait. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. And, you know, be sure to go join the group. We have grown from 15 to 160 in a matter of like two weeks. So it is a growing little group and people are sharing ideas and projects and everything else. So we'd love to see you there. Have a wonderful day.